in the line for Starbucks waiting for some egg bites. I need to eat breakfast on the go. Normally I hate doing this sort of thing, um, but I have such fun plans today and I wanna to talk to you when I'm not parallel to the highway because I don't even know if you could hear me with all this morning traffic, but I have fun plans. I'm gonna include you and there's another flight attendant involved, although I don't know if she'll be making an appearance on camera, but stay tuned. There's a fun day of food ahead. Well, hello, I am back home and the day has completely passed. And I look tired, not because that cooking class was intense. Um, it was a great pace, but it was so far away. And I just spent like most of the day in the car driving, which is not a huge deal, it was fine. And the class was totally worth it. We went to a Sur La Table and I'm just looking at the menu packet that they gave us um, in case you're interested in doing a class but it was called the spring garden cooking class. And we made grilled artichokes with a basil aioli. Uh, here's just recipes in this packet. And then the chicken was called, oh, so just roasted chicken with lemon and rosemary. There were also like shallots and white wine. I just thought it was gonna be a fancier name, but that's pretty basic. And then we also made a Tuscan kale salad. And let me tell you, all three of those dishes were incredibly fabulous. The only thing that I didn't like about the class is you cooked all the food and then you just threw it on a plate. And it's not a food plating class that I signed up for, like I should just let it slide. But ideally in my head, I would cook all of that food and present it in a much more elegant or stylish manner or professional manner, I don't even know what word to use, um, than what I did. But it doesn't matter. It was just me in the class and the other lead flight attendant in the class. So we had our chit chat and we talked about how we would cook this on the private jets that we have in our company. And then we sat down together and had a great lunch. I definitely am gonna sign up for another cooking class through them. Our chef who was in charge today um, let us know they have like knife skill classes. And I think something like that would, would probably benefit me tremendously. Um, I did choose this specific class because I wanted to learn how to prepare artichokes. I eat them all the time. I've never prepared one though. And now I know how to. So I did mention that it was me and another one of the flight attendants at my company. As a corporate flight attendant, I've mentioned this is a very competitive field and I don't necessarily feel like there are outside sources trying to come in and push me out of my job, but I also feel like continuing your education is extremely important. I'm incredibly happy with a company that I work for. I wanna be a lifer there. This is the company I wanna retire for. There is no one else who I would wanna be flying for. I am just so happy to be here. And I don't wanna ever get comfortable thinking like, eh, you know, 
I have the job, everything is good. Yes, I do have the job, but I wanna to prove to myself and my pilots and my passengers and the other corporate flight attendants that I'm worthy of having this job and they should keep me. When I did my annual review, I think it was the beginning of this year, I sat down with the chief pilot on my airplane and he asked what I wanted to do, what my goals were. And I mentioned I wanted to do a cooking class and he said, great find one, send it my way, we'll expense it for you, take a cooking class, I love that idea. And how lucky am I that I have a company who supports continuing education and who wants us to succeed and continuously be the best that we can be. I feel like I've been rambling a lot, you know I took a cooking class, you know what I cooked, and you know that now I recommend doing this course if there is a Sirla table close to you. There is a benefit of me not being extremely close to one, and that is they have every fun gadget every decorative kitchen item that you can imagine. And I wanted to spend all my money in there, um, but I didn't, I had willpower, but I did pick something up. I got this Easter pancake and egg mold. They're like silicone molds and there's an Easter bunny and a little duck and like an egg with the stars in there. And I know Nick is not gonna remember his first Easter, but I will whip these out every Easter and make festive breakfasts for the family. So this was 20 bucks. It's totally worth it. I love a theme. I love being festive. And I think my kid will appreciate it when he gets older. Now there are a few personal things that I need to do considering today was mostly spent at work. Nick and Jonathan are out now. So I'm gonna take this time to empty the dishwasher without a kid trying to play inside the dishwasher and straighten up the house and then I don't know if I can even really share this yet. I'll give you a hint. I am doing a few online tutorials to continue my education, to keep my resume fresh. And I feel honored to be a part of a program that's about to launch. I don't wanna say anything in case I'm not allowed to say anything yet. When the time comes, I will be saying anything and everything about it. Cause I only have two modules left until I complete this program and get a certificate. I'm pretty sure as a tester of the site and the program, I still qualify for a certificate. Um, but once I have it, once it's live, and once it is up and running, I will absolutely share it with you. It's just something so important to any future corporate flight attendants out there who are just looking to add on some additional enhancements to their training besides facts or flight safety. It's just a really great program. It's not a program that I had any sort of play in developing. I don't want you to think that, um, but I was fortunate to be asked to do a trial run and I'm enjoying it. And it's just gonna be so beneficial and so exciting. So I'll definitely keep you posted on that. All right, I can tell that I was stuck in a car for a long time because I'm spending a long time talking to a camera. So I'm gonna wrap up here. It's probably gonna be a very quick vlog. I tried to record everything that I could in the cooking class, but like I said, it was just me and the other flight attendant. So it was a pretty hands-on and involved class for the two of us. Plus I wanted to be paying attention this way I could recreate these dishes at home. So thank you for watching. Remember to always work on yourself. Also, please leave me a thumbs up for this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This way you don't miss out on any future flight attendant vlogs. I appreciate you being here and I'll talk to you soon.